Nine seconds. That's what I'll give you to decide your fate. What's up guys, Anthony here, and on today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my honest review of the movie Equalizer 3. Long story short, this was an amazing movie, and I think you should go see it, and here's why. So Robert McCall finds himself at home in Southern Italy when he discovers his friends are under the control of a local crime boss. As events turn deadly, McCall knows what he has to do, become his friends protected by taking on the mafia. This was such a well-made action film with a lot of suspense and excitement. I was sitting on the edge of my seat the whole time. Denzel Washington had such a great performance in this movie. There are a lot of great strong supporting cast in this movie, especially Dakota Fanning. I, don't, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. It was really, really a pleasure for me watching her in this movie because I know the whole time seeing her interact with um, Denzel Washington, I can remember her being a little kid from the movie Man on Fire. Then that was the last movie she and uh, there's a Washington did a long time ago and just seeing two of them interacting for anyone who knows the story between the both of them kind of see this as a little reunion because they have a history together anyways she did great um the guy I don't remember his name he was from the office but he was um Pam's husband or Pam's boyfriend of hu Pam's boyfriend was he did they get married anyway that's not the point but he was in this movie he was awesome at it so the thing for me that makes Denzel Washington's character Robert McCall stand out from a lot of um action movie heroes is and you will notice this i don't want to spoil it but you will notice it early on early on in the movie when you see that particular scene and you know what i'm talking about he is not afraid of death you almost never see that even when, a, when even when a hero is doing and doing all the saving he's he cares about himself because he want to come out of this alive but when when he fights when he does all of these things and defends people and kill all those bad guys when you look in his face this guy is not afraid of death. If, and from my own opinion, from what I see, and that, and for me, that was what makes him awesome. That is what makes him great. Whenever he, uh, he, ha to me, he has a sense of whenever he goes into a mission to like execute or kill a lot of people, or a lot of bad guys. I feel like he has it in his mind. I might not come out of this alive. That is that is a dangerous person right there. So this wasn't just some generic action movie where you just have people shooting each other. This actually had a really really good compelling story that would definitely keep the audience engaged at the edge of your seat from start to finish throughout the movie i was very sympathetic to the to those little town people that he he lived with and not gonna lie watching those people live their simple lives make me wonder like damn why not want to just move my pack my bags and go live in a remote place in italy so now the question is should you go see this movie in a movie theater absolutely freaking lutely yes this is this is a theater movie this is something you want to watch your family members and because there, there are no dull moments and also it gives you this whole satisfaction of justice being served when whenever the little guy is being trampled upon this guy is enacting justice upon them you know and and it's satisfying to watch even though it's extremely violent but also it's satisfying to watch because sometimes you need a you need a good guy that have the capacity for evil and this is what denzel washington brings to this movie even the way he looks at the bad guys with so much intimidation in his face i was terrified you know <laughs> but i loved the movie but anyways what would i rate this movie i would rate this movie a solid seven out of ten this is a solid seven out of ten but um that's my review of the movie let me know what you think about the movie in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and talk to you guys later bye for now